guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today, we have an awesome video for you guys. If you are tuning in for the first time, my name is Rush and I have a 2017 SRT392 and a 2019 Mustang GT. Now, there's a ton of comments about you guys wanting me to run the two cars against each other. And trust me, I want to as well. Uh, only reason I haven't done so up until now is because of the SRT. Uh, needed some new wheels and tires to really kind of put its power down and I wanted to make sure that it was getting that uh, Traction that it needs in order to perform properly against the Mustang So at least we have a fair e even race between the two cars. So new wheels come uh, on the car tomorrow They're gonna have uh, some nice sticky tires on them and uh, I think at that point it'll be very fair to go ahead and run the cars but in the time being since we can't run the cars against each other just yet uh, if you guys watched a previous video of mine, I ran my 2019 Mustang GT, which is stock, versus a 2017 Mustang GT that had some bolt-on modifications, pretty much everything except for headers. Uh, it ran really good. It was putting a car to two cars on me uh, in the runs, so definitely some very solid runs and uh, the car ran really good. So uh, before the owner left, since he made a pretty long drive to get out here anyways, uh, I decided to pair him up against my SRT. I really wanted to see if the SRT can get at the advantage with it being automatic. Um, so we went ahead and went back out to Mexico to get these runs in for you guys and uh, kind of see where the SRT stands against a almost full bolt-on 2017 Mustang GT. Uh, it was having traction issues, I'll tell you that, and I knew that was going to be kind of a, uh, the, the case, but anyways, we're, just, we're doing it for fun, we wanted to kind of get an idea. Uh, the closest run, I would say, was probably like a 50 or 60 for us, uh, because that was a run where, you know, traction wasn't too much of an issue for the SRT, but anything lower than that, like 40 rolls were just absolutely terrible, the car would spin for a second or two, and that's all that Mustang needed to just jump out ahead of me. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you the footage from Mexico. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll catch you back right here at the end to give you some more channel updates. So uh, here you go. Alright guys, so we did a few runs so far, um, you know, that Mustang is no jokes, definitely got some very good power to it. Uh, only problem is that this car keeps lighting up the tires uh, anytime I try to do it from a uh, 40. It's just definitely lighting them up and there's no way around it right now because these tires don't have a lot of life on them. Um, because I'm supposed to be picking up my 315s um, and this 
run was really not planned. Uh, we mostly met up because we wanted to run the Mustangs, but we decided after seeing how the um, how the Mustang did against you know my Mustang that it would be a good maybe race to try to run these two together and see what it does. But yeah, the SRT is definitely not pulling our weight right now, and mostly just because she's not holding traction um, unless it's like a high roll. So. We're gonna take a right. Alrighty boys and just like that that's a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that racing uh, It was a lot of fun anytime we go out to Mexico It's a absolute blast and it was definitely very cool to see where the SRT kind of stacks up versus a modified Mustang A lot of the cars that I have raced in the SRT have been pretty stock So to actually put it up against something that uh, had some work done to it was kind of cool and uh Things were a little kind of like how I expected, right? So let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, the SRT has a lot of torque. It definitely has a very nice punch uh, to it. And uh, that is very apparent when the car gets traction. If the car doesn't have traction, then uh, it doesn't really show. But the first run, I believe, is where the car kind of caught traction. It jumped out and it was holding off the Mustang for a little bit. But Mustangs having the Coyote, uh, the higher it revs out, the harder it starts to pull away. Um, especially he has all that other work done to it, which kind of helps it um, build up to more top end uh, in terms of like the GT350 kind of intake manifold um, and the, the intake, the car is breathing better. So the higher up we went, the further away he was pulling off uh, on me. So there was no way that SRT would have won, even if it had really good tires. I think it would have just got out of the hole faster every time, but it would get reeled in by the Mustang and passed pretty easily. That car just had more power, it was lighter. And one thing to keep in mind is that the Challenger is not the most aerodynamic uh, vehicle, so the higher in speed you go, it feels like it definitely has more resistance hitting it. It's getting harder to gain speed, um, where the Mustang has a much more sleek design, which really helps it as you get faster up in speed. So that's kind of my take on it. Uh, both cars run pretty good. Uh, there's really no complaints other than I didn't really have too much traction, but that wouldn't have mattered anyway, uh, because when I did catch traction, it was still pulling on me pretty hard. So that is it for uh the racing today let me know what you guys think down below i know there's gonna be a huge debate on which car is better and which car is faster and all that good stuff so go ahead leave it down in the comments below it's very entertaining to see both sides uh present their arguments as to why each car is faster uh it happens on every video we mention a mustang and a challenger so it's become pretty normal around here so now moving on into channel updates uh the Mustang is getting tuned by Lund. Uh, I contacted them last week and you know paid everything, so the tune is in process right now. Uh, we were going back and forth on Friday, so hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday we'll have uh, the tune ready. I'm not gonna install it just yet because there's one more race I want to knock out before I get the car tuned. 
Um, so I ended up doing a 91 um, 85 flex tune with them, a ghost cam tune just kind of for car shows for fun, um, and then a full 85 race tune. So hopefully that'll be ready. This is my first time ever getting a car tune, so it's gonna be a little bit of new territory for me. Um, you know, this whole uh, you know being modified and stuff like that is really in general uh, pretty new to me as well. But I'm doing my best to kind of educate you guys and help myself out at the same time uh, progress. So I heard E85 is gonna make a world of a difference on the Coyote and I'm super excited to see how it is. We'll get my first reaction video to being tuned uh, on E85 very soon. Um, so now some more updates for the Challenger. Challenger, uh, there's a few things I wanna knock out this week. Definitely getting the wheels and tires uh, mounted, balanced, and installed tomorrow. So we'll have uh, the new wheels on. Also, there's a few more cosmetics I'm gonna do and maybe one or two uh, minor things that we'll maybe discuss in a week or two from now. But as of right now, I'm happy with the, where the Challenger is. I got the window tinted on at the windshield, so it looks a lot better. Um, but I've been mostly just doing a bunch of cosmetic stuff to it. Don't really plan to modify it any further in terms of performance. I'm really happy with the way it is. It's my daily driver right now. Um, and I use it to go all over the place and I never have an issue because it's super reliable. So that is what the plan is with that. But the Mustang, I'm gonna continue on with the build. Uh, making more power and getting more races in for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy today's video, slap a like on it, subscribe to the channel so you can support it and help it grow and help me give you awesome content that's entertaining. So my name is Rush and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.